Hey, good morning, YouTubes. I'm going to go into some subjects I am not good at. Because it's chemistry. And chemistry is a weak point. Well, I know analytic chemistry, to some degree, for certain elements, compounds, I do not know analytic chemistry. So, why go there? This is a conversation about cations and ions, or anions, which we term as ions. So an ion can be positive or negative. That's acid or base. An ion can be low pH or high pH, depending on how and where and what it's bound with. So this is a part of the nuclear conversation, the isotope conversations. Isotopes are mimickers of their base elements, and those elements fit into where other elements in their periodic table fit because of valence shells and electrons. That is where all of this is. This is about electrons on an atom. So that piece of it, I'm aware of. It's the interaction, the inferometry, interferometry, how those atoms, how those electrons at the tips of atoms react. So who does, who uses this type of knowledge, this type of understanding? Well, you can go back to Arne Gunderson and reactor embrittlement. That is a case of ion migration into metals. The ions change the structural properties of the metal and make it brittle, make it more able to crack, changing the physical properties of the pressure vessel. This is not just for this type of nuclear pressure vessel, right? 2,000 pounds of pressure inside a nuclear reactor, a, a high pressure reactor. Not much better than the other ones. It's all steam, right? Boiling water. Yeah. So, all of these ions, all of these new particles that humanity was never in or around or near change the environment. This is a fact we know from before CO2 we had Freon, right? Remember the big Freon real change we had to make because we were destroying the atmosphere? CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, that was real. We responded to that as a globe, as a planet, because of the threat it offered, and we did something about it. CO2, this conversation, is kind of the same studies in the same way. But now we're talking about ions. We're talking about nuclear releases. We're talking about releases of things into our atmosphere, into our common environment across the planet, states' rights ignored, human life, human activity. This is the decisions we're making. We know how deadly plutonium is. Look what we go through to hide these materials from humanity after we think we're done with them. They're not done with us. So I get shallow feedback. I get shallow pushback. Blah, blah. Poof. Nothing matters, right? If it didn't matter, the contamination in Fukushima's wastewater tanks wouldn't matter. We wouldn't be having this discussion. But people that know what the hell they're talking about are having them. We just don't get to share them. So I'm offering you pieces of it out here. So, acids and bases, pH, weights and masses, the interaction of atoms and electrons. This is complicated stuff. And do not anyone that tries to minimize that is uh, not doing us any favors. Trying to understand this, trying to put it in its place, this is what we do with things. We put them in our place. When we bring something home, we figure out where it goes and how we're going to use it, right? Life's big. Life's very big. And there's people that know a lot about it. How we lost respect for them is a whole nother conversation. Thank you for listening. I'm going to get more into this ion thing, this 
valence electron shells things and how electrons move is I've been able to put it together from all of the education I've had. Thank you again. Maybe someone serious will come by someday and straighten me out. Peace and thanks.